Hi, it's Andrew from Scraps of Beauty, and today I want to show you what I created using the Bow Bunny Magic Elf Collection. This is a chipboard album which I will start to do on Ustream Monday nights from 7 to 9 Eastern Time, as I live on the East Coast, and scrapadabadoo.com. I'll leave the description below, or oh, sorry, the link below, and they will be selling the chipboard album as well as the cardstock, and they also have the uh, paper collection pad. So I'll take you through the album first, and then I will share with you all the different things you need for this album. So that will be Monday nights from 7 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. So here we'll use some mulberry paper. I tied it off with some seam binding, some Prima flowers. This is from Cottage Cut Dyes, their um, handmade Christmas gift set collection, limited edition, also from Cottage Cuts. And then um, here is some stickles that you could see for him. And then I'll turn the page. And this is the first and second page. So this is from the chipboard collection. And there's two mats that go in here. And these hold pretty big pictures. They're almost four by six, not quite. And this is a corner piece from Cottage Cuts. I probably will put one here too. I just didn't get a chance to do it. Here I cut the um, page here to create a pocket. There's this little deer from the um, Christmas skip set, and that holds those mats in. So you have some little journaling or another little picture. Two other mats here. And I haven't got a chance to ink these, but I, I inked all the mats in this book. So then this just slides in here. And then that holds the mats from coming out. And then this page is my elves and reindeer. So, and I will have the PDF file for this um, on sale on my blog Friday, tomorrow, the 8th. And um, this is um, the reindeer. I also use Cottage Cuts, Martha Stewart Jingle Bell. And you can use a um, picture in the back here or journaling. Another picture here. This is also from the Cottage Cuts um, dies. That just slides back in there like that. And then this one here is also Cottage Cuts. This is a chipboard piece from the um, chipboard pack. And then these pull out. And these are, I love these. They're so cute. Came out so cute. So this is the little gingerbread boy and the little gingerbread girl. And also this is from the Cottage Cuts. I used um, a lot from there, from the gift set. If you know Catherine from the Scratch Beach, she is also using the um, Cottage Cuts as well as Jerry Ann. Sorry, I don't know her link to her um, her Ustream show. So there's quite a few of us using it. It's a really good gift set. So and then these, and also you can just journal in the back of these, or add pictures, put a picture here. And this page is, I'm probably gonna cut this Santa out and put him in here and then add some snow. So we'll do that during class. And then I use the rest of the little um, cutouts from this book. And I just add some washi tape here to create this little book. So you can add more pictures here. And this little book holds quite a few pictures. Get stuck in there. This is from the um, Noteworthy collection to add the pictures in there. Mats. It slips right back in there. It goes in there. Like that. And then this is um, the little L's feet I cut out. In the dress, I uh, ran through the cuddle bug with Tim's, um, one of his alteration um, Sizzix um, embossing folders. And then this is from the collection here. And then these mats slide out. So there's room for two more, four more pictures on this side. And that just slides in here like that. And then I'll flip this page over. And then I have, haven't quite finished this, but I'm going to put pockets here where this will um, slide in here. So we have room for a couple more mats in here. And then these are also from Cottage Cuts, the dies, snowflake dies there. So, and then you flip this over. <coughs> and then I use this from the um, Noteworthy um, pack again and this. And then this slides out, so you could add another picture here, a little journaling, whatever you want to add in there. So that is the mini album for class Monday night. So now I'll show you things that you need. Just that right there. 
So of course you'll need the chipboard. You'll need that. And this is the um, Bow Bunny paper collection. So we'll be using this side. So this is um, Elf Magic. Of course I have it upside down, right? Sorry about that. Uh, where's the collection here? The number. Oops. There we go. So you can see that one. Then we'll be using this one. There's two sheets of this. And that's, if we could bring it up close, I don't know why I can't get the focus. Focus. Well, you'll see it's the one with the little reindeers on here. And if you only have one sheet, it's fine. I'll show you how we can um, get around that. Then, of course, this one with the cute little elf. Love that one. And that's this collection here. Sorry. Nope. I can't get it to focus. It's a really cute collection. And this one I used um, a sheet and like 4 by 12 for that. Fa la la paper. This one we'll be using this side. This is part of the dress, the elves dress there. I'll be using this little elf boy here. This one. And of course the goodnight tag. That one. And then this is how I made the little book with the washi tape from this sheet here. And then we'll be also using this sheet, but we'll use this side for the Santa hats and the elves hats. And then, of course, this one, the cute little elf sticking out of the presents there. And also the snowflake pack. Now, Barry at Car uh, and Carol at scrap a dub -a doo will have the collection pack which will include two sheets of mulberry paper. It will have the vanilla. Of course, I have it backwards. There we go. It will have four sheets of the vanilla, four sheets of the leapfrog, four sheets of white, four sheets of the brown pine cone, and four of the shamrock red. And that you can get again at uh, scrapwebdo.com. They will also have the Noteworthy collection and the chipboard. The chipboard, I just used the tree, and I use this little um, ribbon here. If you don't want to get the chipboard, it'll be fine, because they do have a tree from here that we can use and just add on chipboard, and you can use something else just for that other thing. So that's fine. And then here is the embossing folder, Tim's embossing folder that I used. And here are some of the cottage cuts. This is a snowflake corner. The holly leaves. This one is really cute. I love this one. The holly corner. Snowflakes. Another snowflake. And the holly ribbon. And then this is the limited edition cottage cuts. Their handmade gift set, and that's where we'll be using the bow, the little deer, gingerbread guy, and the poinsettia flower. And I'm sure after we'll have so much paper left over, I'll probably make a couple of cards. This is the PDF file I will have for sale on my blog, and that would be five dollars for the two sheets. And you'll need a, I use a brayer and a glue stick. To put down my chipboard, if you use running tape or liquid glue, you know, whatever you use. Of course, you'll need some washi tape, whatever that is. You'll need a water pen, a stylus, and a bone folder just to smooth everything out. A cutting knife and black ink. I use black ink. You could use whatever you'd like. Um, but that's about it. So let me show you the album here again. And remember, that's Monday night, this Monday, the 11th, from 7 to 9. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on Monday. Bye.